Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Python on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to check whether your Windows 11 operating system already have a previous version of Python or not. For this, you can just open your search bar and search for CMD or command prompt and then open the command prompt. And then you just need to type Python here. Okay. When you type Python and when you press enter and if it opens uh, this Microsoft store, so you can see on Microsoft store, the latest version which is available is Python 3.9, but we are not going to install Python using this Microsoft store. So when you type Python and it doesn't show any uh, REPL or terminal for uh, Python, then Python is most probably not installed on your windows operating system so let's see how we can install python so close your command prompt and then open your favorite browser and search for python download and the first link which will appear here will be from python.org forward slash download so i'm going to click on this link and then straight away on the main download page you will see uh, this download python 3.10 at the time of making this video python 3.10 is the latest version of python available you can also see the previous versions of Python here. So as we have seen, Microsoft Store was showing us the version 3.9, but the latest version at the time of making this video is 3.10, right? So I always trust and recommend to download the Python from the official website, right? So once you are on the download page, click on this download Python button here, which is going to download the Python 3.10 exe file. You can see this file is downloaded so i'm going to click on this exe file and then i'm going to minimize my browser so now on this first window there are a few important things to note so the first thing here is python will be installed at this path on your windows 11 operating system right now what i prefer generally is to install python directly in my c directory and not on this long path so instead of clicking on this install now button i always click on customize installation button but first of all you need to also check this checkbox which says add python whatever version of python you are installing to path what this is going to do is it's going to add the python binary path in your environmental variable on your windows 11 operating system which is going to help you to run Python from the command prompt, right? I'm also going to show you how you can manually set this, but just check this checkbox and then click on customize installation. And here just leave everything as default and then click on next. And on the next window, you can see the advanced options, right? So if you want to install Python for all the users, you can check this checkbox. And uh, if you want to download the debugging symbols and debug binaries, uh, you can also check these checkboxes. So it's going to also download all the debugging uh, symbols and uh, binaries. So it will make your uh, debugging easier, right? Now in the customize installation, you can see uh, this location is provided. I generally, as I said, prefer to download uh, Python on my C drive directly. So I generally create this folder, which is called Python and then whatever the version I'm installing. So I'm installing version 3.10. So I generally name uh, the folder Python 3.10, right? If I'm installing the version Python 3.9, then I will name this folder Python 3.9. Okay. And then I'm going to click on install, which is going to install Python. And in between, you will see this warning, which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I will click on yes here. And then it's going to start the installation process of Python on my Windows 11 operating system. So just wait for this process to complete. So now in the end, I will see this window, which says setup was successful. You also have this option, disable path length limit which you can do later also. I'm not going to click on this option and then I'm going to click on the close button. 
And once you do that, Python is successfully installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Now you can check whether all the tools are available for Python by clicking on the Windows Start menu. And then you can see the recommended section here. So when you click on more under recommended, you will see the recently installed tools and you can see Python comes with this idle IDE, which will help you to write Python code. It also comes with this Python terminal, which is going to help you to run Python commands on your Python terminal. You can also run Python on the native command prompt or PowerShell, whatever you have, right? So now let's check first on command prompt if Python command is working or not. So I'm going to just search for CMD once again and then open the command prompt. And once command prompt is open, I'm going to just uh, type Python space hyphen hyphen version. Okay. And then press enter, which is going to show you the version of Python you have on your Windows 11 operating system. So we have installed Python 3.10. So that's why it's showing us the version of Python. Python also comes with Python uh, package manager, which is called pip. You can also check the version of pip here. So I'm going to just write pip uh, version and then press enter. And it's going to show me the version of pip, uh, which is installed for uh, Python, right? So you can see pip 21.2.3 is installed for Python 3.10 on my Windows 11 operating system. Also, when I type Python here and then press enter here, it's going to open the Python REPL. REPL stands for read, eval, print, loop, which in simple terms is going to help you to just type your command and then get the result at the same terminal. So let's say I just type five plus five and then press enter. It's going to just add these two uh, numbers and give me uh, the sum of these two numbers. I can also write uh, print here and then in the brackets I can just type hello space world here and then close the bracket and then press enter and it's going to print hello world. So print is nothing but an inbuilt function in Python which is going to help us to print strings and other values, right? So everything is working fine. Now in case you don't see uh, this Python version when you type Python version command here, then your environmental variable for Python is not set. So in that case, what you can do in that case, just go to the location where you have installed Python. In my case, I have installed Python in my C drive. And if you remember, I have installed Python in this directory, which is called Python 3.10. Go inside that directory. So this is the folder where all your Python related files are available, right? So for now, I'm going to minimize this window. And what you need to do is you need to set the Python environment variable on your Windows 11 operating system. So what you can do here is you can just write uh, edit env and it's going to show you this result which says edit environment variable for your account. I'm going to click on this option which is going to open this window. If you don't see edit environment variable for your account result, then you can open control panel also. So this is the long way of uh, reaching to the same point. So just open control panel, then view by category, then click on system and security, then click on system. And then once system window opens under system, you will be able to see advanced system settings. So just click on advanced system settings. And once this window opens, you need to click on the environment variables. So once you click on this, it's going to open the same window, right? So you can see the same window is opened. Okay. So you can directly search for environment variables uh, window, or you can just uh, navigate it using control panel. Now here, when you uh, click on the path here, so just click on path environment variable and then click on edit you will see that this path is added by Python installer on your Windows 11 operating system. So if this path is not available, C uh, colon uh, Python 3.10 or whatever directory you have for your Python installation, 
then you need to add that directory manually okay so if you do, don't see any uh, thing related to python in the environment variables then you just need to copy this path like this and then add it you can add it by just clicking on new or just double clicking on this uh, line here and then just paste your path which is essentially the same path which is added by python for me right but if it's not present you can do that also okay so once you, you do that you can just click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok and close everything and then python command is going to work using the command prompt also on your windows 11 operating system now as i said python also comes with uh, other tools so you can uh, again search for uh, python here so you can again search for uh, python here and uh, you can see it comes with its own terminal this is not the command prompt but the python uh, terminal right so you can click on this python terminal i can just increase the font size by right clicking on the top and then click on properties and then click on uh, fonts and then increase the font size so you can uh, see this font in uh, uh, the larger fonts right here also you can type uh, print and then you can type your command for example hello world and then press enter which is going to uh, show you the result or you can just uh, do some arithmetic operations and other operations on this python terminal REPL. also python comes with the idle ide you can see idle or you can search for idle and then click on this idle ide this is uh, the IDE which comes uh, by default when you install Python on your Windows operating system. Here also you can increase the font size uh, by just clicking on the options and then click on configure uh, idle. And from here you can uh, increase the font size to a bigger value. So let's say I just configure it to 20, apply, click on OK and then font size is changed, right? Here also I can uh, just do some arithmetic operations. You can also create a Python file using uh, file and then click on new file. And uh, then uh, you can name your file anything. So file, save as, and then you can save your file somewhere. I'm going to save my file in documents for example. And then I'm going to uh, just uh, name my file as hello.py and then press enter which is going to save my hello.py file on this location and here you can write your uh, commands for example print again I'm going to write and you can see python idle also gives you this intelligence so it's going to help you to write your code right hello world uh, once again I'm going to write and then close this parenthesis and then you can save this file by just clicking on save or control s and then you can run it from here so you can click on run and then click on run module and then it's going to show you the result of this file so this is how you can download and install and use python on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video